Welcome to Barball Brigade. I'm Gio. I'm Charlie. Mike. I'm Lou. Lou. Fitness been important in your life? It doesn't, it sucks. Dude, yeah. that's your whole life? What are you talking about? No, I'm you're, not so, I'm multi-dimensional. I'm multi-dimensional. Do you have any other clothes besides what you're wearing right These now? These are basketball like, clothes. I never see him in regular clothes right now. Right? Oh, 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 hey, I don't think this is about you, I don't think I've ever seen him in jeans. He went to art school. Yeah. Oh, he did go to art school. What underwater bas <laughs> underwater <laughs> basket weaving, <laughs> veil painting, dancing? musicals, do do interpretive that? dance. Oh, interpretive but dancing. But this was, this was prior to you getting into the fitness as crazy as you got into it. I agree. So, <laughs> you can't just agree and then just <laughs> um, fitness, fitness just happened for my life. Uh, uh, me and Charlie talk about it a lot because our paths are uh, a little similar in terms of like, uh, we like to help people and coach people. Mm -hmm. And so like I coached basketball and then I coached fitness. And so wherever I coach people, I get the um, satisfaction of helping people. Like uh, if I help Lou hit a PR, I'd be way happier than if I get my own PR. Oh, cool. And so that's where fitness has helped my life, that I can help people in a, um, a direct way where you see like he benched uh, 225, which is pretty factual, <laughs> and then I helped him bench 235. There we go. And then that makes me feel good. Was that with the slingshot? No, yeah. That was with the red Reverse one. Reverse The black one. <laughs> yeah. The black one? Yeah. Uh, kind of how fitness has changed my life. I think that um, John Bro said something before that I heard. He said that uh, if you take the path of least resistance in resistance training, um, you're basically not getting out of the program the most that you can because the true essence of resistance training is pushing yourself as hard as you can. So if you look at that as a direction for not only training but life, the harder that you work in the gym, the better results you get. The harder you work in life, the better results you get. So I think that fitness has changed my life because of uh, understanding of uh, hard work and that translating from the gym and into real life. But I think that people can learn that that actually have never had that before. So if you're busting ass in the gym, pulling on some heavy deadlifts so you feel like you're gonna puke, but you finish that last set, you learn how to move uh, past adversity. So later in your life, if something happens, you're like, man, that's not even half as bad as my deadlift, like, yeah, yeah. whatever. Like it, it doesn't bother you because you understand and you acquire that uh, mentality that hard work prevails. And I think for me personally, yeah, I really say like fitness and powerlifting are the most uh, direct form and basic form of self improvement. There's always a path in your life, whether it's often mid 20s, but sometimes later in life and sometimes yeah. earlier in life, you're like, how can I be a better person yeah. and how I ca can I do better in life? And when you power lift or, or weight lift, any of it, uh, fitness in general, you're, yeah. you're doing so much work today, so much work tomorrow so that you can do a five pounds better a week later. And in life, what do you do? Chip away, okay. chip away at work, yeah. chip away at diet, chip away at family, right? Every day if I if I treat my kids better, they're gonna be better, right? Yeah, yeah I, I agree. I mean, do you I, even fitness stuff? I don't, but oh, right. I try to. I mean, I feel like it's taught me a lot of discipline. It's uh, helped me like collect a lot of my emotions because I know that you've been through some things. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you've been through anything like very serious and rough, and I, I feel like- last night. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole nother video. True. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I mean, I, was I, feel like, I, I feel like it brings a lot of like balance in your life. Like it teaches you a lot of character with, yeah. that, with that dedication and Absolutely. discipline. Yeah. One thing that three of us do have is a little ADHD going I on. I think we do. Yeah. So when you lift, we get calmer. We well, have 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The but, most comfortable I am is in a gym. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And probably the calmest. I just, and I mean, you get fired up, but you're in the zone. You get in the zone. Like it's not, I'm not the same person in the gym. Like I'm just so much more focused and I'm like really trying to get my mindset when I'm ever exercising. Every time I see you in the gym though, you're mostly just spending your time on the foam roller. What? Is that, <laughs> That's so true. An hour. He'll squat for an hour. You know, for an hour. I'm proud of him though because he never did that when I first met him. I didn't do it. any stretching. He was so hard and tight all the I time. Middle of, a, middle of a seminar. Are you saying that now he's soft? Oh. Well, it's like his heart. <laughs> like his heart. What about you? Yeah. Uh, Fitness no, is a little bit later in life, right? Like you didn't do it as a kid, you played sports? Uh, I played sports, but that's some so, like form of fitness, right? Yeah. But I think, yeah. I think yeah, for yeah. me, yeah. what it's taught me, I mean, I, I always love that team mentality. I love being with like, you know, people that I that I enjoy and I like doing things that I find fun together with them. And I know that fitness, specifically powerlifting, has um, allowed me to do that. And at the same time, it also allows me to stay really freaking humble. Cause it's like, um, you know, sometimes you, you you hit a PR just in life too, and you're just like, yeah, like this life is life PR. Hashtag, yeah, life, yeah, life yeah. PR. Life PR. PR. <laughs> but um, and, and it's and it's for some some of us, it's easy for us to get like a really big head about certain things. But then, um, because of fitness, it's like, no, bro, like you're not even that cool. Like, cut yeah. it out. Like, you can always improve. You can always be better. You can always do better. Yeah. Um, and that's something that for sure I've I've taken away. What from. if there's no social media? Would you be as humble? 
Uh, what do you mean? So like, oh, well, well like, like I pull 600 and then I was like, shit, I see 700. I don't even pay attention to that. Oh, all right. Well, it depends on maybe who's even in the gym because it could be yeah, an, yeah, like yeah. an older client that hits a huge PR and you're like, how the hell are they PRing and they hella old? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, Fuck old if, people. Yeah, if, if, <laughs> old people are tight. <laughs> old people are like the coolest. They're wise. I agree. They're Same the thing. There's some people I like That's to hang out with. I feel like a yeah. weak ass bitch because yeah. I'm just like, what am I doing complaining? And this person's like way older than I am. Yeah. And they're like killing it right Getting now. Like, it. I'm a loser. I agree. Uh, I, I just agree. feel like it's a, it's a good thing to kind of keep yourself distracted from the outside world as far as like work, family, friends. It's like your own personal time because like I feel like a lot of people who go to the gym, you know, before they even work out, they like to talk about how their day was and they're like, it's been long, it's been oh, this, yeah, yeah. And it's been that, and, you know. And so I know that a lot of us can relate about that, you know, yeah. like that we feel like it's kind of an escape from everything else, and it, it's fun too. Like it's just fun playing sports. Like I feel like it's a rush. Um, and it's exciting to see your uh, your hard work uh, manifest in like pulling heavier weight or whatever it is that you do, you know, whether it's running or uh, swimming faster, just anything really. And, and another thing I like about it is your financial status doesn't mean shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, it doesn't mean anything. True. Like your education level doesn't really mean shit either. Sometimes the most broke is people are the best. Yeah, yeah. they're like killing it. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. and I feel like it's it's like um, it's like a really cool representation of like what you should kind of model yourself to be because it's like you're never really that badass. There's always going to be someone that's better than yeah. you. And I feel like friendly competition is always really cool. Yeah, Lou mentioned yeah. like a uh, time to get away from life and stuff. Not You said like family and friends oh, and yeah. stuff, which I think is good because uh, a lot of people have a hard time looking inward and like um, improving their self, right? Like coach that, mentality, yeah. right? Like you're you're helping this guy, you're helping that guy. Like, oh, I got my kids, or I got my work, I got my wife, I got my dog, I got my this. Very like, overwhelming. Like, like, like yeah. let me just like make myself better for an hour. Yeah. yeah. That's that's something I was gonna touch on too. It's funny because coaching, I tell people all the time, this is your one hour to devote to yourself. And even if you have the social people that you like to communicate with in the gym, when you walk through the door, no matter if, you know, rent's late, your kid's crying, work's crazy, all different things. You gotta rest for that one hour. It's like all you can, if you're training hard, you should only be able to think about the rep that you're on. Yeah. There's no way you should be able to think about any other thing. And so for me, that, you know, whether it's sports or training, that's always been my release anytime. I mean, I'm in the gym all the time, but mm -hmm. if I have adversity in my own life, I don't care if it's midnight, I'll go to the gym and just train because I feel better. Yeah. And then from there, that release feels better for me and I could just be like, okay, I'm cool now. Yeah. That's like, it's my, it's my stress relief. It's good for your mental health too, you know? Like, it's just a good outlet instead of like drinking and smoking. That's I how feel. everybody else releases, right? Yeah. Like, hey man, this was Monday through Thursday was so hard, bro. Let's grab some 40s. Some 40 pound dumbbells. That's how you dunk. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> All right, guys, let us know how fitness hey, has changed good, your oh, life. Go ahead and just share your stories good, in the comment below. If you have any other questions, go ahead and leave them there as well. Until next time. Trace, Trace. Deuce, deuce. <laughs>